gentlemen, and welcome to the Australia-Lebanon Chamber of Commerce and Industry annual gala ball, Making a Difference. The Australia-Lebanon Chamber of Commerce and Industry would like to acknowledge the land on which we stand this evening, the land of the Wurundjeri people. We acknowledge their traditions and we respect their generations, past, present and future. Could I ask you all to be upstanding for the Australian and Lebanese national anthems. Please remain standing, ladies and gentlemen. We welcome His Excellency, Mr. Antoine Shadabil Tadabai, Bishop of the Maronite Catholic Diocese of Australia, to bless our event. Thank you and good, good evening. Lord God, we come together at the gala dinner of the Australia Lebanon Chamber of Commerce and Industry and we ask for your blessing upon this event and all of us gathered here. We pray for the ALCCI, all its boards, all its board me and members, especially its president, our dear friend Fadi Zuki, as we also pray for every individual here tonight who has come to support this organization, working to build bridges of communication exchange and commerce between Australia and Lebanon. Bless, O oh Lord, all our projects, ideas, and work. Help us to realize that every blessing and every success comes from you. May all our work seek to glorify your name and serve our brothers and sisters on earth. We pray for Australia, this generous land, and our beloved chosen home. May it continue to be a safe heaven and a land of opportunity for its people. We also pray for Lebanon, that it may overcome all challenges and no prosperity, peace, and stability. We, are, we ask this by the intercession of Our Lady of Lebanon, Mary of the Cross, MacKillop, and all the saints. And may the Lord bless you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you. Please take your seats, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of Mr. Fadi Zui, OAM, President and Chairperson, Honorary President, Honorary Chairperson, Patrons, Executive Directors, Board Members, 
the matriarch, business women's group and the young entrepreneurs of the Australia-Lebanon Chamber of Commerce and Industry, I would like to welcome the Honourable Michael Sukkar, MP, Federal Member of Deakin, Assistant Minister to the Treasurer, representing the Prime Minister of the Commonwealth of Australia, the Honourable Malcolm Turnbull, MP, also representing the Federal Treasurer of the Commonwealth of Australia, the Honourable Scott Morrison, MP. The Honourable Marlene K. Roos, MP, Minister for Consumer Affairs, Gaming and Liquor Regulation, Minister for Local Government, Member for Cororoit, representing the Premier of Victoria, the Honourable Daniel Andrews, MP, also representing the Minister for Finance, Minister for Multicultural Affairs, Minister for Corrections, the Honourable Robin Scott, MP. The Honourable Steve Brax, AC, former Premier of Victoria, patron of the Australia-Lebanon Chamber of Commerce and Industry. The Honourable Philip Braddock, MP, Mayor of the Hornsby Shire, former Minister for Immigration and Multicultural and Indigenous Affairs, former Minister for Administrative Services, former Minister for Reconciliation and Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Affairs, former Attorney General, patron of the Australia-Lebanon Chamber of Commerce and Industry. Miss Inga Paulich, MP, representing the Honourable Matthew Guy, State Leader of the Opposition. The Honourable Alistair Coe, MLA, Leader of the Opposition, ACT Legislative Assembly. Mr. Tony Abade, representing His Excellency Samir Jaja, President of the Lebanese Forces. Mr. Zeke Yadda, representing His Excellency Sami Jmail, President of the Al Kateib Party. His Excellency Glenn Miles, Australian Ambassador to Lebanon. His Excellency Dr. Abade Al Kitbi, Ambassador of the United Arab Emirates for Australia. His Excellency Jaskar Al Khouri, Charge d'Affaires, Lebanese Embassy for Australia. His Excellency Antoine Shadabil Tarabai, Bishop of the Maronite Catholic Diocese of Australia. Mr. Muhammad Bashir Mahyou, representing Dr. Sheikh Salim Alwan Al Husseini, Chairman of Dar al Fatwa Islamic High Council. The Honourable Hassan Al Khatib, the Consul General of the Republic of Lebanon to Victoria. His Excellency Dr. Al Alawi, the Consul General of the Consulate General of the Sultan of Amman. The Honourable Muhammad Fakhri, the Consul General of the Arab Republic of Egypt and Miss Wahiba. His Excellency Saeed Al Kamzi, Consul General of the United Arab Emirates in Melbourne. The Honourable Juan Carlos Gafo Acevedo, Consul General of Spain for Victoria. The Honourable Anthony Tadabai, Honorary Consul General of the Republic of Lebanon to Queensland and Board Member of the Australia-Lebanon Chamber of Commerce and Industry and Ms Tadabai. The Honourable General Ferris Al Khouri, former General in the Lebanese Army. Major Abdul Aziz Al Janabi, Vice Police Attaché for the Consulate General of the United Arab Emirates in Melbourne. Mr. Nazih Al Asmar, OAM MP, State Member for the Northern Metropolitan Region, and Mrs. Al Asmar. His Excellency Dr. Salim Asfaid, Chairman of the Board and General Manager of Bank of Beirut, CEO and Chairperson of the Bank of Beirut, Honorary Chairperson of the Australia Lebanon Chamber of Commerce and Industry. Mr. John Butler, Victorian Commissioner to the Middle East, Africa and Turkey, Trade Victoria. Miss Ashling James, Regional Specialist to the Middle East, Africa and Oceania, Trade Victoria. Miss Mimi Watts, Commissioner of the Victorian Multicultural Commission. Mr. Sam Al Maliki, Commissioner of the Victorian Multicultural Commission. Mr. Fuad Shair, Bank of Sydney. Mr. Roger Dahir, Bank of Sydney. Leading Senior Constable, Mr. Albert Fitdaley, Multicultural Liaison Officer, Northwest Metro Region, Division 5, Victoria Police. 
Mr. Carl Cowie, CEO, Mornington Peninsula Shire, and Miss Cowie. Miss Rohina Kapadath, Chairperson of the Multicultural Ministerial Business Advisory Council. Mr. Wissam Jamal, representing Mr. Tufit Dabusi, President of the Tripoli Chamber of Commerce and Industry from Lebanon. Mr. Joe Khattar, OAM, President of the Australia Lebanon Chamber of Commerce and Industry in Sydney. Mr. Roland Jabour, OAM, President of the Australian Arab Chamber of Commerce. Mr. Antoine Manassa, Chairperson of Halfa. Mr. Anwar Harab, AM, Editor-in-Chief of An nahad Arabic Newspaper and representing the Honourable John Ajaka, MLC. Stan the Man, eight times heavyweight champion in kickboxing. Mr. George Tahan, Managing Director of Icon Services, proud sponsor of the Carlton Football Club, home ground named Icon Park. Mr. Adrian Lloyd, Marketing Manager of the Carlton Football Club. All political leaders and or their representatives. Religious leaders, all Lebanese political parties, all Lebanese associations, internal guests, interstate guests, distinguished guests, media representatives, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. <laughs> Mr. Wissam Brady is a hugely experienced TV presenter with a proven successful track record and has presented a wide variety of programs including talk shows and factual entertainment in GCC, Egypt and Lebanon. Confident, intelligent and quick-witted, he has a warm and engaging personality. Wissam is also an accomplished interviewer whose charming smile, relaxed and friendly style enables him to get the most out of his guests, which have included politicians, TV stars, celebrities and everyday people of all ages and from all walks of life. Adding to his successful career as a TV presenter, Wissam Abredi is a certified media trainer and public speaking coach. Ladies and gentlemen, all the way from Lebanon, please make him welcome your Master of Ceremonies this evening, Mr. Wissam Brady. Mm. 